Microsoft has officially acquired Activision. The deal is done. There is no more waiting to be had, and Activision now officially has a new partner and a new boss to be under their watch. So to clarify, I actually was not really planning to come back to YouTube today, as I'm still technically on my little break from uploading. As of right now, I plan to still want to come back next week, especially after the Modern Warfare 3 open beta is over, so that I could put out a review of it. On top of that, this news was just such a big deal that I feel like I kind of wanted to make a video on it to clarify some of the things that I would love to see come about from it. So that's what today's video is going to be about. If you are somebody who is excited about the merger, drop this video a like and comment down below your thoughts as we get through into this video. So first off, I do want to address some of the things that Charlie Intel has tweeted out with regards to what is going to be happening with this merger. Call of Duty in the future will still release on the same day on all consoles, PlayStation and Xbox and PC, including Nintendo now as well, which I think should be very interesting. I'm very curious to see what's going to be coming about from that. It will also expand to cloud gaming services, which is something that I actually don't have a whole lot of knowledge about, so I'll need some clarification about this in the comments below. Games will now officially release on Xbox Game Pass, which I think is a very big thing, considering Xbox Game Pass is a very good system for players and is very consumer friendly. And finally, there will be no more exclusive content for any one platform, in this case PlayStation, considering the last nine years, PlayStation has gotten everything first. Again, this is another big deal move from this merger because, as somebody myself who is an Xbox player, I do honestly think that this is something that is good for everyone and not just Xbox players. There really should not be an exclusivity in gaming for these kinds of things. Everybody should be able to get everything at the same time, unless it's like a beta, which I totally understand, which is what COD has been doing every time they've done a beta in the last however many years, and I think it should honestly stay that way. In other very big news, maybe in my opinion the biggest of them all is the fact that it was also announced that Bobby Kotick, the current CEO of Activision, is going to be stepping down as of January 2024, three months from now. Phil Spencer had asked him to stay on board at least until the end of the year, which it seems like he is going to be honoring that agreement. Just so that everybody knows this, the reason why I say that this is maybe the biggest piece of news coming out from this as of right now with the news that we have gotten so far is because of the fact that under this man's watch, we have gotten a lot of very bad practices, not just in the games themselves, but also in the workplace for the people who make the COD titles that we get every year. He is absolutely somebody who is a main proponent of what Call of Duty has been doing in recent years with all the microtransactions, stores, and bundles that we get in every game now. He's a very greedy dude, and I don't know if that person that'll come up from him under his watch will be any more greedy or not, but here is hoping that they are not. On top of this, in terms of the actual workplace environment, he has been under a lot of scrutiny in recent years for his ability to showcase that the company of Activision is not the best place to work. In, specifically in terms of showcasing bad work ethics with what certain employees do to women, and even to the fact that there has been a case where somebody took their own life. I really don't want to get into more of any of the details of that because of the fact that that's not what this video was about, and in general, I think a lot of people already know that this guy is just not a good dude. This franchise is absolutely way better off with him out of it, even if he has been there for some of the great games, but then also some of the bad games as well. A lot of people don't even really know that because he has been at this company for a very, very long time. It's just just that I think his time recently has shown that he was slipping quite a lot and just making really bad decisions that needed to be put to an end. Hopefully him resigning will be the start of that. Even though I do hate the fact that he's going to be getting a greedy $400 million bonus when he leaves, I still think that him being gone from this company already makes what could happen in the future for Call of Duty 10 times better. As of me writing up this video, we didn't really get too much other information other than that and so now I want to go over a couple of things that I would like to see happen under Microsoft's new leadership. For one, I would like to see them reorganize all the different studios who make the games for Call of Duty in the way to where it is not an intermingled relationship. For those wondering what I mean, basically I am kind of asking for these three main studios of Treyarch, Infinity Ward, and Sledgehammer Games to be separated as their own moving forward. For those who are not in the know about this, in the last few years, it has been pretty apparent that all three studios work together with each other on every game that comes out now. In my opinion, I think that needs to stop. We see with games like Vanguard that Treyarch has had to make the Zombies mode instead of Sledgehammer Games, or where Treyarch had to do the ranked mode for a game like Modern Warfare 2 last year, and then even for the newest title coming out in Modern Warfare 3, where they had to do the ranked mode again as well as the Zombies mode. One. This is something that I just don't want to see anymore, and I think that the studios need to be given their own game and time to make a vision out of it. There should be no reason why one studio works on one part of another studio's game. I think that that just makes it to where there are too many cooks in the kitchen, and ideas just get jumbled around, and it's not a cohesive identity of what that game is under that studio. I think that we are seeing that with the new Modern Warfare 3, especially since Zombies is now a mix of multiple different things from multiple different franchises of games that have come from multiple different studios.
So that's number one. Number two is actually going to be an interesting one and something that I think a lot of people probably won't think of. The second thing that needs to be fixed is the pro scene for all the professional players in the current version of what it is now with the Call of Duty League or CDL as it goes by. Now that Microsoft is backing Activision, there's also a lot more money to go for for this pro scene. As it is, I have not been a huge fan of what has been happening in the pro league the last however many years when franchising became a thing. I think that this is something that needs to be fixed and switched back to what it originally used to be. We we need to go back to when it was just esports organizations coming into the league. We need to go back to when events had an identity to them. That means making them all open bracket, having pool play, hundreds of teams instead of just 12, but also making the events themselves very lived in because it doesn't feel like that that's something that has been looked at a lot in the last however many years. I definitely want to make a separate video about this for another time to explain more, but that's just something else I think that needs to be changed. As it is, Microsoft also works with Halo, who has a pro league of their own that in my opinion has the right structured to it, so maybe Microsoft will look at Call of Duty and do the same. Another thing that I want to see get fixed up is just how much goes into Call of Duty games in terms of the greedy parts of it. That includes the microtransaction systems, bundles, and stores that we get put into every game every year. There needs to be less of that and more emphasis on the game side of things. I really hope that Microsoft can come in and adjust that to where it is not as bad as it is now. In my personal opinion, I think that Call of Duty needs to go back to how microtransactions were done in the old days. Black Ops 2, in my opinion, was the biggest idea of what made it reasonable. Even to that point as well, COD also just needs to go back to making it to where you can earn things in-game as well and not just buying them. On top of that, I really wish that Call of Duty will move away from the live service form of what it's doing right now with seasons and battle passes. I don't know if Microsoft is going to budge on that, but this is just a hope and a want that I want to see come from it. The final thing as of right now that I would like to see them go forward with is a little bit smaller but also still very important. This has to do with preserving the older games. Recently this last summer we had gotten the news that Microsoft had pushed for Activision to go back and fix the servers on the Xbox consoles for the original games. Thankfully they actually obliged to it and the games got fixed and we saw a bit of growth in people purchasing the older games but also going back and playing them and filling up the servers. This is something that I hope Microsoft preserves even if the smallest number of people still play those games. As of right now in the last week I actually tried to go back and play the original Modern Warfare 3 and Black Ops 1 and their servers are not working anymore for me. But yet when I go back and play World at War I'm able to get into lobbies easily. That is just something else that I think needs to be fixed and also please for the love of god Microsoft remove any and all hackers and hacked leaderboards and hacked systems in these games from infecting them because I'm getting so sick and tired of coming across any hacked lobby and it's just Again, it's something that needs to be fixed, and I think a lot of people are going to be pushing for that. So that's basically the update that I wanted to give to you all today, especially as I am somebody who is now transitioning into one to uploading more videos about this franchise. I think that this is a good video to start off with, and I'm hoping with everything that I've listed off today that it is something that Microsoft adheres to. But now I want to get to the most important part of the video, which is to hear all your thoughts on this with regards to any of the news that was announced today, and then also potentially what you would want to see happen moving forward. Do you agree with the list of things that I came up with, or do you have anything else you'd like to see added on to it. Let me know. If you did enjoy this video, please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. My next goal here is to reach 3,000 subscribers. If you are somebody who loves Call of Duty as much as I do, then this is going to be the channel for you moving forward. I hope everyone has a wonderful rest of their day and has a good weekend. I hope to come back next week fully again for YouTube uploading. I'll see you all soon. This is Orion, signing out.